Hi, I'm Dennis, back with another tip. Today I'm replacing the number 22 nut assembly on the bottom of the handle. This is where the air connects. Now the reason I'm doing it is that if we can get a shot of that, we're going to move in here. And if you look inside of this black nut, there is a screen. This screen is rusty and corroded. It's restricting my airflow through the handle. Okay. Now, another thing I ran into, it doesn't want to come off. Okay. In an earlier video, we used heat. We're going to use heat again. I'm going to grab myself a 16 millimeter wrench, get my little Bunsen burner here, or Benzer, or whatever it is, and I'm going to heat this up. May have to go over to the mechanics bench and See if they can help you out with one of these, but uh, usually they're available. But if you're into repairing your tools, this little guy's worth its money. Okay, I get that warm. It doesn't take a lot because the thread locker used at the factory is heat sensitive. There we go. That bad boy is really in there. Okay, I know for a fact this guy's probably going to be kind of warm, so don't burn your hands. I'm going to put this out on the bench. should be able to see that thread locker around there. Right there it is. That's what we had to heat up. That's what we had to get warm so we could back that out. But you can see the corrosion around there. A lot of times you can take this out. Take your trusty WD-40. I work on a spill leak paper so it collects all my grease and so I'm just going to flush that, wipe it down. I might be able to reuse this. Now you don't have to take this out to service that screen, but I can look in there now and it looks pretty good. So I'm going to reuse this. Okay, if I know my threads are nice and clean now and they have no burrs on it, I have no restriction. I'm just going to follow back up and this time I'm going to take the thread logger, I'm going to move it all the way around. Okay, now this is 75 pound, roughly 50 pound torque. That's what it takes to break it loose after it's back in. And here, run that down, take my wrench. Okay. Okay, there we go. Replacing the number 22 screened nut. Heat, 16 millimeter wrench, little patience. I restored this one. I don't need to buy a new one, but never hurts to have these guys in your workbench. I'm Dennis, another Tornador tip.